The Asus ROG phone series has emerged as one of the few lines of gaming phones to actually have any kind of staying power, delivering fast performance for gaming while also just being a decent all-round high-end phone. There's a new phone from Asus's Republic of Gamers brand on the way for 2020, and in recent weeks the first details have started to slip out. So let's take a look at what we know so far. First off, the Asus ROG Phone 3 doesn't look like it'll change up the design language too much from its two predecessors. The third generation device, leaked on Chinese social media as well as by the country's telecom regulator, shows a chunky design with a curved glass back adorned by LEDs in the form of a giant glowing ROG logo. All very on brand, of course. The back panel does appear smoother than the first two ROG phones, though there still appears to be some kind of vent structure over here on the back, possibly to be used with some kind of active cooling attachment and which might also preclude this phone from having any kind of IP rating. Closer shots of the back panel also show Tencent Games co-branding, suggesting a repeat of the tie-in for the Chinese version of the ROG Phone 2. Around the front, Asus seems to have resisted the urge to use a hole-punch display, instead using what seems to be around an 18x9 panel with the camera and whatnot contained within traditional vertical bezels. The ROG flavoured software is back as well, great for those hoping for a phone UI that looks like the bridge of a Klingon bird of prey, but for those with less exotic tastes it should also be possible to revert back to a more vanilla Android look and feel, similar to Asus's Zenfone series. Most of these physical details of the phone have also been confirmed by its recent appearance at China's Tenor certification body. To learn what's looking inside, we have to fall back on some earlier benchmark leaks. These suggest it'll run an overclocked Snapdragon 865, pushing that chip to just over 3GHz compared to its usual 2.84. Up to 16GB of RAM is also reported, though the Tencent version sold in China is said to have options from 8 through to 12. And that display we saw earlier, though you can't exactly tell from this potato quality video, is reportedly a 6.59 inch OLED panel with a 120 or even 144Hz refresh rate. Not surprising then the spec sheet also points to a 6000 mAh battery to power play sessions at those extra high frame rates. As far as cameras go, we don't know a whole lot besides the main shooter is supposedly a 64 megapixel unit. A decent candidate might be Sony's new IMX686 sensor, which we'll be seeing in a few mid to high end phones in the coming months. And since the Asus Zenfone series tends to share a lot of components with the ROG phone, I also wouldn't be too surprised to see an upcoming Zenfone 7 possibly being outfitted with this new camera setup. Details on price and release date are sketchy, but the ROG Phone 2 debuted last summer for just shy of a thousand US dollars. Of course, the ongoing COVID-19 situation could lead to some delays, so I wouldn't be too surprised to see its sequel slip to later on in the summer. Of course, the actual phone part of the phone is just the start. We'll be waiting impatiently to see what accessories Asus brings out to complement the ROG Phone 3. There's certainly been a strong track record of controllers, fan attachments, docks and the like that we've seen from previous ROG Phone models. So that's it for now, be sure to subscribe for full coverage of the Asus ROG Phone 3 when it arrives, and let us know what features you're looking forward to down in the comments. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.